Portland Cement Manufacture Chemical Composition and Classification Cement Definition We can define the Portland Cement according to its formation or manufacture process by explaining from what it is made or how it is made color or shape we can define it as a fine powder that has gray color usage of cement or application of portland cement we use the portland cement in oil and gas industries in well cementing or in concrete to make buildings dams roads and extra types of cement two types of cement hydraulic cement example of hydraulic cement Portland cement, non hydraulic cement, bozola. The difference between the two types of cement that hydraulic can develop strength and remain strong even under water, but non hydraulic can develop strength but cannot remain strong under water. Portland cement characterization and classification. For quality control and consistency among cement manufacturers, many user groups establish standards and the well known are ASTM and API. ASTM stand for American Society for Testing and Materials. API stand for American Petroleum Institute. Both institutions establish standards to determine the characterization and specification of Portland cement according to their application. ASTM define eight different class or types of cement from one until eight. Type one normal cement and used in construction. Type two similar to type one but air entrained agent aided to the clinker during the manufacture in order to separate the air bubbles and it used for freezing and thawing. Type three medium sulfate resistant. Type four medium sulfate resistant plus air entrained agent. Type five develop early compressive strength. Type six similar to type five but air entrained agent was added. Type seven low heat. Low heat. We will study this in the hydration process. The final type or type A high sulfate resistance. ASTM used in concrete has eight different types and it was classified according to the applications and workability and the classifications depend on concentration of components and air entrained agent and the fineness. API used in gas and oil industry for well cementing. It has for uh, eight different class from A until H. It was classified according to the temperature, pressure, they they will expose to and the depth that they will be placed into and the the properties of categorization it was depend on concentration of components and fineness the the relation between api and stm astm according to these differences api class a similar to astm type 1 api class b similar to astm type 3 both they have less C3A tricalcium aluminate concentration type C similar to ASTM type 4 both they are high sulfate resistant type D, E and F all of them called retarder cement the particle size that they contain the most are coarse with the small surface area type G and H both designed for well cementing and they are not retarder so we can add retarder to control the thickening time to increase the depth and the pressure and temperature that they will be exposed to cement manufacture and chemistry cement is made through four different stages stage one raw materials preparation and first grounding process stage two burning process and heat treatment killing Stage 3, coding process, controlling the clinker quality. Stage 4, grinding, milling process, and adding gypsum. Stage 1, raw materials preparation and first grinding process. The raw materials from two different resources, calcareous and argillaceous. Calcareous, limestone, marine shells, cement rock, and alkali waste. The main minerals we get from these raw materials calcium carbonate and lime the second are gelicious clay and mar shells ferna slash and the minerals we get from these raw materials aluminate silica iron oxide we prepare these two materials by two different methods dry or wet we will give a brief idea about the disadvantages and advantages of each one. 
the dry process, cheap process. This is the advantage, but the disadvantage is it is very hard to control composition quality. While wet method, the advantage uniform composition quality, but the disadvantage is expensive process because the big amount of fuel required in order to evaporate the remaining water molecules. Second stage of Portland cement manufacture, burning process and heat treatment. This is how the heater looks. The heater is used to heat the raw mix in order to drive off carbon dioxide and water molecules before it is fed into kiln. This is the kiln. Kiln has 3 to 10 meter diameter, 45 to 228 meter length. After preheating, the preheated raw mix will pass through a huge cylindrical furnace called rotary kiln and burn at 1500 degrees Celsius. While the kiln rotates, in order to ensure the materials are traveled at the right speed, however, complex reaction will take place and there are six different reaction phases will be explained one by one in the next slide. This is how kiln looks from inside. The second phase, degree of temperature increased from 20 to 200 degrees Celsius and the water molecules removed in this stage. Phase 2, degree of temperature from 200 to 800 degrees Celsius, dehydrolyxation of Clive phase. Phase 3, degree of temperature 800 to 100 to 1100 degrees Celsius products crystallites in this phase. Phase 4, from 1100 degrees Celsius to 1300 degrees Celsius, the calcium carbonate decomposes to free lime. Phase 5, from 1300 to 1500 degrees Celsius, and the formation of silicate phase, dicalcium di silicate and tricalcium silicate. The last phase, phase number 6, degree of temperature reduced from 1500 degrees Celsius up to 1,000, 1,250 degrees Celsius. And take place here the crystallization of aluminate phase, tricalcium aluminate and tetracalcium aluminate ferret. The composition of kiln called clinker. And the clinker quality is controlled before grinding process. So next we will study what is clinker and the main function and reactions of clinker composition. Here we will define the clinker and highlight the difference between clinker and kiln. Kiln, an equipment that used in the Portland cement manufacture process, but the clinker, the solid materials that are produced in rotary cement kiln. The notice here before we proceed, understanding of the chemical compound of clinker composition and their reactions is very important to easily understand the next lessons. The components of clinker, there are four main components and a little of impurities. We will study one by one of the four main components. Here the first one, C3S, tricalcium silicate, elite, and the chemical compound, lime plus silicon. Second, C2S, dicalcium silicate, silicate, belite, lime plus silicon. Third, tri-aluminate, tri-calcium aluminate, lime plus aluminum oxide. The last one of the four main components of clinker is C4AF, tetracalcium aluminum thread. Here the chemical compound of this uh, co uh, component, lime plus aluminum oxide plus iron oxide. The impurities, free lime, magnesium oxide, calcium hydroxide, calcium carbonate, and alkali, sodium potassium sulfate. The functions and effects of clinker compounds. Here are the four main composition of clinker. We will study them in terms of hydration, heat rate, compressive strength, thickening time, and susceptibility. Uh, we need to define these terms. Hydration, once dry cement get mixed with fluids and react. Heat rate, temperature degree changing due to reaction. 
compressive strength, strength and durability of said cement matrix. Thickening time, the period of slurry in aqueous phase to remain maxible and movable. Susceptibility to be influenced by other materials. The first component of clinker C3S. It is rapid hydration, high, re uh, high heat rate, develop early compressive strength, decrease the thickening time, and not susceptible. The second, C2S, slow hydration, low heat rate, develop long-term compressive strength, increase thickening time, not susceptible. The third, C3A, rapid hydration, high heat rate, develop early compressive strength, control the thickening time or the sitting time, very susceptible to other sulfate or ions attack. The last one, C4AF, has a slow hydration, low heat rate, develop long-term compressive strength, has low effect on thickening time, and also susceptible to ion attacks. How the cooling rate control the quality of clinker? So, there are two rates are common nowadays to control. We will study the features of each, then we will see which one we need to go with. First, fast. We can see here the silicate phase C2S and C3S are less ordered. And aluminate C3A, C4AF and magnesium oxide are trapped in glassy phase. The free magnesium is less active. So, the produced cement will be less and soundness that means hydraulically active and it will show no expansion. But it will be more resistant to sulfate attacks and it can develop the long term compressive strength. But the slow, we can see here silicate C2S and C3S are more ordered opposite to the fast. Also, C3A and C4AF are crystallized, but in fast, they were trapped. The free magnesium will be here active and it will form pericles crystals. So, the produced Portland cement here will be more unsoundness. It will demonstrate the unsoundness cement properties. It will be less hydraulically active, so the set cement will show expansion. And it will be lower resistance to sulfate attacks. But it will develop early compressive strength, not for long term. So, here we can see clearly that cooling rate depends, uh, cooling, cooling rate are determining the quality of clinker. So, what is the best cooling rate we need to go with? So, it is suggested to go with slow from 1500 degrees Celsius until 12. 100 degrees Celsius, then we will uh, until the ambient condition. Final stage of Portland cement manufacture uh, that is grinding, milling process, and adding gypsum. Uh, however, the properties of the produced cement that will determine its class or type. So, what takes place in the final stage of cement manufacture? Grind, grinding, grinding, and milling clinker components with gypsum according to the desired fineness to get the final Portland cement. So what is gypsum? Uh, gypsum is calcium sulfate and here the chemical the chemical uh, compound mixture of calcium sulfate hemidrate and slobal anhydrate. So wh why we need uh, to add gypsum and what gypsum does? Delays cement setting time by controlling thickening time. Prevent flash set setting phenomena. Determines fineness to the final produced cement. What fineness means? Is the surface area of the final cement graze that is controlled by adding gypsum to clinker during grinding milling process to make a particular BSD to the final cement. So what is BSD? BSD is a particle size distribution to determine the classification of the produced cement. Size can be between 1 to 100 mm. Fine, medium, and coarse. So why we need to control particle size distribution? 
to get the homogeneity of the cement, also to determine water to cement ratio. Also here it will affect the rheology properties and also mechanical properties. In the next video we will learn hydration process from the beginning once the dry powder cement get into contact with water until it gets it for long term after set.